but Robin Yoshi. Yeah, it seems interesting. Uh, Yoshi does struggle a little bit with dish joints, but uh, Robin's not particularly known for walling people out with dish joints, more so with his projectiles. And so I, we'll see how this goes. I know Yoshi, one, he's been working on his egg work a lot, and it's been very good, but he also is a very aerial Yoshi. Um, some Yoshis will like to sit on the ground and like up tilt or you know try to expose their opponents that way. But he will almost strictly be using aerials, which Robin has a good answer to in forward air. Right. And it can probably uh, at least stop some projectiles, uh, like uh, L Thunder and such. Ooh, jab, jab, to try to get this spike. Yeah, he did He did armor through the second hit and Nair, but he must have been a few frames too slow. And actually, these this egg pressure will make charging for Robin a little difficult. But just like most other charging characters, if he gets interrupted in the charge, I think he loses it. Yes, Robin does lose it. And though Scorpio is normally very good with the books, I know Lucky loves playing with items. So, unless yeah, playing Bowser Jr. probably helps with that too, for sure. Has a good reason to practice it. And Lucky has almost twice the percent of Scorpio. It's uh, been a rough ride so far. It's all been about Lucky trying to get in on this mage. Oh, wow. Manages to avoid the third hit, but air dodges into the ground and gets grabbed. Arc Thunder not quite going to do it. I was kind of expecting it to. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> Flip with the throne, and then I'll take stock one. And I feel like Yoshi, you say this a lot about, about a lot of characters, clearly, but he really needs a lead in a matchup where he's getting zoned out. Absolutely. If he's forced to approach, his limbs are so stubby. Even his forward air, he like leans super far forward, but he doesn't really have much disjoint. His whole head is a hurt box. Ooh. Oh, nice spike. Maybe, maybe he could have DI'd that better, but uh, it was probably too quick to react to. And spikes are weird to DI because like minus DI into the stage to tech. In theory, you should actually DI them down because up down when DIing changes the launch rate. Yeah. So you're DIing, you're lowering the launch rate if you DI down. Plus, if he DI'd into the stage and possibly missed the tech, uh, Lucky might have been able to follow up with an up air. Mm -hmm. But so, Lucky had a 91%. Yeah, this is a pretty big lead, but um, Yoshi's a pretty explosive character. If he can get the right openings, it, this is definitely doable. Yeah, but Scorpio's going to be happy to sit back and wait to get this grab, because this, this smells like checkmate for Sam. Oh, he went for it, I think. Yeah, he just didn't get the dash forward for the grab. Oh, that back here is so strong, too. And that'll take it. That was pretty strong showing from Scorpio. Lucky uh, Lucky looked a little lost in the, the approach game. So, interested to see. Lost in the sauce? There wasn't a lot of sauce. So, yeah, dry sauce. Uh... Old Salsa. <laughs> I don't know how we got here, but I'm not happy about any of it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how we got here. Anyway. I like the battlefield choice. Gives him some more landing options. He just jumped out of that arc fire. I guess Yoshi could do that. The super armor is actually an interesting mechanic because things that seem true, he can get out of. Absolutely. A lot of 50-50s don't work on Yoshi. But the ability to trap Robin's landing options, now that Lucky does need to get Scorpio in disadvantage for that to happen, but uh, he's going to be locked greater here. Yeah, Scorpio's kind of calling out these uh, spaced aerials in neutral. He uh, he waits for Lucky to throw out a aerial right outside his range, and then he'll just throw a projectile back at it. So he, because Lucky has to space his aerials for them to be safe on shield. Ooh, read the jump, got the spike. And this is where Yoshi wants to be. Absolutely. I mean, every character wants to be winning, but right. forcing to approach Robin is going to be very hard, especially for Yoshi. As we just said. Oh, is that it? No. Wow, Yoshi's heavy. And some great DI. Yeah, good shield there. And wow, still living. That back air is so strong too. 
Scorpio looking to end this, throwing out a lot of Levin aerials, just lost his sword. That still didn't kill. Yoshi got knocked down. I'm not sure if he teched or had that had any influence on the trajectory. That didn't look like it's possible. The strong hit of full on. Yeah, the, there's the uh, electric momentum glitch that might have messed with some stuff there. Maybe made the sweet spot miss. Lucky finally getting the chance to tack on some extra percent after having the stock lead for almost half a minute. He used his double jump there, but that was smart because he needed it to get above the Thoron. A lot of Yoshis are very careful about when they use their double jump. And these jabs still not killing. Oh, oh that DI was not optimal. Bad DI there. But, Might have uh, been afraid of like the back throw or something, but he had time to react, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe he was trying to jump out of it, get the super armor. Now, yeah, only a few aerials, and this is this is very even again. Very good short hop air dodge. I managed to get right past the arc fire and got him unpunished. Lucky he had read the tech one. I love the reverse no spots. Yeah, no spots is. You always forget about it, or at least I do when, when I play against Robin. You never see Robins really go for it very much, but when it does land, you feel it, it does a lot of damage, especially considering it heals Robin. So, and when that's actually the most powerful command grab can be is when you forget about it, right? Because then you you feel safe and shield and don't even think about the option to spot dodge or jump air dodge. Plus, you're shielding a ton against Robin, and it, and his grab isn't the greatest. So it's definitely a good mix-up. I like that Nair edgeguard attempt from Lucky. If you can get Robin away from the stage, so the edgeguard becomes a lot easier. The advantage is definitely Lucky's favor, but I'm getting nervous about that checkmate percent approaching. Oh. I think he was afraid of the projectile there. It was very close. He might oh, up smash, yeah. And this space is the forward air and needs an up smash. That's a, that has a lot of range to it, too. That, that up smash is very good. I mean, if you're not going to give him kill setups, you might as well give him a, a decent kill move. Shout out to Mario, right? He has kill setups, but let's give him a good kill move, too. Or two. You know. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, Yoshi, Yoshi's up smash is relatively safe and fast, good range, average strength, but, you know, you can't have everything. So we're going to town. This is interesting. Why is this interesting? Well... Robin up air is going to kill very early here, but I think Yoshi ultimately might get more advantage out of it just from what I know about the character because he, he kills off the top a lot, but it's at later percents. And I agree with you for the blast zones, but I think one of the reasons Scorpio likes this is because of the wider play area. So he can run away from Yoshi a lot more effectively. Which yeah, I can see that. If he can't get in, then it's, the kill potential is not a problem. Right, on smaller stages, you don't have as much room to run away. Lucky's keeping the lead, though, so far. And as I say that... <laughs> yeah, see, eggs can mess with your projectiles. It doesn't let him get a punish, but it wastes all his uh, charges. Got the sword. Lucky eats the Levin sword. I am kind of sad that Wario is the only, or Wario, DDD, and Kirby can eat things, but Yoshi can't. Yeah, that it is kind of like weird. something he should be able to do. Like, why would you? But he does stick out his tongue. Like that is an eating utensil. It'd be kind of cool if it was like a counter for projectiles. Kind of how it works in his games, where he can like eat stuff and spit it back out at people, and it would just like spawn an egg that he could throw. Ooh, that'd be cool. It would be, but it would make his egg so much less useful because you need to you need to eat something to get him. But anyway, well, yeah. <laughs> while we were saying that, Scorpio has gotten himself quite a lead. I believe Yoshi, or Lucky, is at checkmate percent. And that being said, with the smaller upper blast zone, probably a raw up air will take it too. Oh, absolutely. Up air for Robin kills super early. And now we see Scorpio just running away. He doesn't have to be suffocated by this dinosaur on this stage. Hey, it didn't go for the checkmate. I don't know if it was a 50-50. Plus, Robin's down throw is weight dependent, so uh, Yoshi is kind of heavy, so it might mess with it. And now we can see if Scorpio can tack on this section of percent, or if Lucky can trace him down and get this kill. Yeah, Lucky's been keeping him mostly in disadvantage. Ooh, that's a big percent swing. Yeah, that was like... 
25% or something like that. Ooh, tries to space a forward air and eats a forward air of Scorpios. Lucky's uh, oh. struggling a little bit to find this kill. Yeah, trying to read the roll or jump again. Scorpio avoiding these edge guard attempts from Lucky very, very well. Oh. Mixing up his air dodge timings. Yeah, egg, egg. Uh, in theory, it should be really nice for landing kills, but it's kind of hard because characters have a lot of options out of that. They don't. As far as I know, there's no cooldown between breaking out of the egg and being able to move. You can definitely buffer options out of it as well. Yeah, and mixing up how much you mash can mix up the Yoshi enough to to not make it true as is. Yeah, it, it feels like. Oh, that with is rage, it. that'll take it. Yeah. But oh. we're not having an advertisement. <laughs> uh, that was the last winner semis. Yeah. Scorpio, our number two seed, the only top four seed to make it into. Sorry, that was last winner quarters. He's the only one to make it into winner semis. Um, next up, we're going to have top eight qualifiers.